What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Dale from Creator Pro website, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to protect your website from hackers. And this can be done in less than one minute. I'll also show you how to scan your website for malware anytime you want, as well as how to add a padlock to your site's URL in order to show people that your website is safe and secure. But first, let's answer the question, why do hackers hack websites? Well, most people think it's number one, to obtain credit card information. And yes, this is a big one, but let's say that you don't have credit card information on your site. Well, what other reasons might people hack you? You can be hacked for contact info that can later be sold to unethical marketers. You can be hacked for usernames and passwords to gain control over the server that your website is hosted on. Malvertising is another reason. This is sending spam to your website visitors and or subscribers. SEO spam, using your site's authority to promote fake information on Google, or for any other classified information that you might have on your website. Okay, so let's make sure none of that happens. So let me show you how to secure your website. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do is log into your WordPress dashboard. And then we're gonna be activating a plugin called iThemes Security. iThemes Security is one of the highest rated security plugins out there, and it's very easy to use. So in order to get it, just go on over to plugins and then go over to add new. And then just go over to the search bar and type in iThemes security. And then you can see the plugin right here and it's got almost a million active installations. So you know that it is super legit. So we're gonna go ahead and click on install now and then just click on activate. Okay, so now we're brought back to all of our installed plugins. So now if you look on the left hand menu and you scroll down, you'll see a new menu item called security. Just go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to automatically take you into the security check. And this is basically going to just configure all of your settings and it's going to enable all of these features here. So now we can just click on secure site And just like that, it enabled all of these awesome security features, except for the network brute force protection. And basically what this means is that any other site that is running iThemes security and is connected to this network, if that website gets hacked by a hacker or a bot or any other form of malware, it will notify all the other sites on the network so that they can be protected from that site. So it is optional, but I highly recommend using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my email address. And then it will ask if you wanna receive email updates. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as no, and then click on activate network brute force protection. Cool, and just like that, all of our settings are configured. So just go ahead and click on close. Okay, and here we are inside the iThemes settings. And honestly, you can leave all of these exactly the way that they are. iThemes has already set this up to protect your site as best as possible. Now, one thing that we are going to enable though is the SSL certificate. And that is gonna be our little lock symbol up here. So as you can see right now, my site says not secure. And I want it to have that little secure symbol. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on enable. And you can only do this if when you signed up for your website, it came with an SSL certificate included or you purchase one separately. If you watch any tutorial on my channel, they're all free included. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on configure settings. And also keep in mind that configuring this will log us out of WordPress and we're gonna have to log back in. And it'll give us a little message that says, make sure that your site supports SSL, which it does because it came included with my site. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to enabled and then go to save settings. Okay, so now we're logged out and we have to log back in. But what I'm gonna do is provide an invalid username and password so that I can show you where this information is gonna show up for you to check that stuff. So I'm just gonna put in the wrong username and password. And of course, it's not gonna let me in, so now I'm gonna put in the correct one.
Okay, so now you can see that we have got our padlock symbol next to our URL that says that this site is safe. So now I'm going to show you where that invalid login attempt uh, can be seen. So if we just go down to security and then we go over to logs. And then you just go over to notices. Here is where you can see that invalid login. So if anyone tries to hack into your website, this information will show up here with the time. Now let me show you how to scan your website for malware. So it doesn't matter which page you're on in the iTheme security plugin. If you just scroll down, you will see malware scan right here. And you can just go ahead and click scan homepage for malware. Cool, and it looks like my website is clean and good to go. And if it's not, it will show up here. All right guys, so that was how to secure your website from hackers. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a comment or hit that like button because YouTube's algorithm loves that stuff and it helps my channel grow. And also smash that subscribe button if you wanna learn more about making professional websites, e-commerce stores, or how to make money online with your websites. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.